Hi Aquarius, this is your singles love reading for the month of July 2017. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But personally, um, I like to watch my moon sign because moon signs correlate with our emotions and kind of like who we are and what is more emotionally tied to us than love, right? So that being said, we'll get started. This is also if you're like spying on an Aquarius, you're wondering what they're up to, a single hottie Aquarius. All right. So, the month of July 2017. How are you seeing yourself this month? Well, um, it's interesting because all of the cards that just flew out of the deck here came up reversed. And um, I do read reversals, so I'm going to say that these are accurate, okay, because reversals aren't necessarily a bad thing. It just means, um, you know, instead of 78 different ways to read a card, now we've got 156, okay? But, but how are you seeing yourself this month? You might not be feeling like there's a lot of opportunity for stability, okay? Things like that. Um, you might not be feeling particularly, um, you know, like you've got your shit together. Like, you might be hard on yourself about money or appearance. And, um, you know, this is affecting you emotionally. And it's something that you don't want to talk about. It's something that maybe you don't know how to do anything about and it's something that maybe your thoughts are not necessarily shifting about. Now what I was saying about reversals, having five come out in a row that are reversed, what that's saying is it's a period of stagnation where you kind of feel stuck, like the hangman card, where he's got to tip himself upside down and reverse in order to see things from a different perspective. So you're challenged to ask yourself, like how much of this is really true or how much of it is self-talk that we're doing to ourselves and making ourselves kind of feel fucking miserable? Well, you don't need to do that. So how are others seeing you? Let's see how they're, <laughs> they're seeing you. I guess that's kind of important. Now, um, this is interesting because potential suitors are, are looking at you and they're thinking about their own past. Okay, so maybe they're recognizing you as someone similar in their past or completely different from someone that they've ever experienced before. And so then they're wondering, is this somebody that I would want to move forward with? Yes or no? Um, is this somebody I can even approach? And so they're getting these vibes, you know, when they're sending them off to you, like, okay, well, I'm interested in this Aquarius. This is how I'm seeing this person. But if this person is feeling not so good about themselves, why? Why would I want to um, feel good about them, right? They're like, oh, I don't know if I want to move forward with this person because they're feeling like they're picking up on these vibes where you're not feeling good about yourself. And so you're like a mirror, you know, like they're looking at you and um, you're kind of sending them like these vibes about how you're feeling about yourself and your stagnation. And they're like, OK, well, how could I make a relationship with this person? Like they're feeling stuck. They're not feeling really awesome about themselves. So, you know, I don't really know how I could make this work. And maybe part of that is um, confidence, right? That your confidence is down for a little, for whatever reason. Like you feel like you don't have a ton of control over your life. I feel like for some of you, this is because of travel. Like because of, um, you know, maybe you're not around a lot. Maybe your job takes you away. Um, maybe you're just really busy with work. And so you don't have necessarily a lot of energy or time to be with this person face to face. Um, maybe you're talking a lot by text and you're making time for that. You're making it a priority. But the issue is, is that because you can't be there, um, like it's kind of like you're putting out this vibe, like I don't know how much um, this relationship could move forward. Or you maybe say to them, I don't know what I'm looking for. And because that unknowingness is there, like I don't know if I want friendships, if I want a fuck buddy, if I want like a long-term partner, like I know I want it forever, but I don't know if I want it right now. They're picking up on that, okay? And so, it's inhibiting people from making offers to you, from offering you love, because they don't know if you want it. Like, they don't know if you'll accept it. And so it's not really coming in. Does that make sense? Now, woo, the challenge is to boost yourself up. <laughs> um, now, this isn't the question I was going to ask, and we'll get that to that in a second, but this one just flew out of the deck. They're like, the challenge is to put yourself back on that pedestal, because regard tarot isn't um, gender specific, and we had the emperor in reverse, saying you might not feel entirely in control of your situation. You might not feel entirely like 
um, powerful and, you know, like sexy and, you know, stable <laughs> as far as money and things go. And the challenge is to see yourself in a different light. You know, the, the empress is described as someone who is um, very sexy. She's got her legs open, even though she's covered. So she's sexy and she's modest and she's classy. Like you could take her to dip. lady in the streets, freak in the sheets, regardless of your gender. Gender, okay? This person is smart. She's creative. Um, she's like a magnet for other people. And so the challenge is to turn yourself back into a magnet because you're not being the magnet right now. You're kind of like the opposite pole of the magnet where you're repelling people. And it's not because of who you are and the qualities that you have, because you are capable of this magnetism of drawing the right person in. It's just that you're putting the vibes out that are repelling people. It's not that you don't deserve it and that you're not good, that you're not desirable. You are, but people can't see that because it's not what you're putting out there vibrationally. Okay. Now, um, what do you need to avoid? Um, <laughs> hmm. okay, <laughs> what do you need to avoid? Not doing anything about this. Um, not just letting this all kind of fall apart so you can rebuild up your self-esteem. You need to avoid feeling weak. You need to avoid feeling like a loser. You need to avoid feeling unhappy and unstable. You need to avoid just saying like, ah, fuck this, fuck this, I'm gonna be single. Like, hmm, like succumbing to it. No, no, no. If you don't wanna be, you don't have to be. Okay, so what um, can you do to grow, increase, or attract love this month? <laughs> okay, so I love this because even though I shuffled, almost all of the same cards are coming back up saying, okay, well, in regards to you um, not really feeling confident and, you know, dominant and in control and all, um, and feeling like maybe the right kind of person isn't coming in and, you know, doing this work and not really getting new thoughts on it, not really manifesting a relationship or moving it forward and feeling totally help helpless. It's a fucking lie. It's a lie that you're telling yourself. Excuse my language. But that's what this is saying. It's saying all of these thoughts that we're reiterating here in our mind are not helping us. So the sooner that you shift perspective and you realize that these are lies that you're telling yourself, the sooner love's going to come in. Okay. So what's working for you? What's working for you is um, the fact that you are single, that you um, are not committed to different people who have been coming into your life because you've met a few people who are not necessarily honest, okay? And um, that's absolutely something that you don't want. You require honesty in a relationship, and without it, you can't really feel in love, nor can you feel like it's worth investing in that person. Now, this is going to change. This is, this is working for you in that you're about to start meeting people who are more honest. But in order to um, really draw them in, we need to shift the way that we're thinking about ourselves. Now, what's working against you this month is that um, you're quite a selfless human being. <laughs> and um, in being a giver and um, in not being necessarily super selfish. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have to pause this. My apologies. Okay, so what is um, working against you is that um, you haven't really made the decision to make this change. Like you haven't really thought about it maybe until you watch this reading or um, until somebody kind of brought it to your mind. Um, and so having not thought about this is um, working against you. So once you can kind of work on that, you're going to uh, see the benefits of this reward. So what is the outcome for you overall in the month of July um, things should be easier for you should you do this work and, um, you know, maybe you're not going to have tons of offers coming in right away, but that's because they would have been the wrong ones, you know, as far as, um, liars and things like that. But then, um, you know, you might not have tons of offers coming in because we've been sending out those vibes with our feelings of um, not, you know, necessarily deserving the right thing. But they say make manifestations 
um, believe that anything is possible. This is our card of law of attraction. You know, put your hand up to God, Allah, spirit guides, whatever, the universe, and just ask. Say, hey, these are the things that I want. You know, I'm going, I'm going to wish. You know, for um, these things, anything is possible. Infinite possibilities for happiness here. And the cup is the biggest thing here. And cups represent love. So I am going to put my faith in whatever it is I believe in that love is coming for me. And once I do that, it will shoot through this arm down to the ground, to reality. And then, you know, you know, you've got all these flowers blooming. And one thing that I noticed here, I don't usually notice this, is but there's white flowers here. Um, purity, pure love. You know, love that you can count on, that is honest, that it's exciting, that it's stable. All of these things that we haven't been really feeling like are coming through for us, it will. But we've got to shift the way that we're thinking about ourselves. And then once we do that, put our faith in the divine. And boom! Whoop, there it is, right? Okay, so what is your overall outcome? Aside from that, uh, they say avoid... Uh, drama like it should be drama free you know being single means that there is no drama that you're not tied to some bullshit you're not tied to um, people who lie to you to narcissists to abusers to things that are toxic and um, you know even though maybe being single is something that's new to you or it's not necessarily what you want you thought at this age you'd be married and you'd have kids and blah 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 they're like it's not something to be unhappy about. We've got to frame it as a blessing right now um, because alternatively, we would have been, you know, had we just settled, had we just done, you know, what society expected us to or what our family expected us to, um, we would have been unhappy in a relationship that was toxic. So what is our overall lesson for this month? Willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. So compromise um, here. Like, don't just hear this video and be like, she is bagging on me. You know, what a fucking bitch. Like, she's yelling at me. I'm yelling at you because I care. This is tough love, lovies. Um, I want you to find love. I want you to be happy. And you can have that end result, but you have to be willing to, like, actually hear the message and not take it as a criticism and just say, okay, you know what? You're right. I, I am pretty awesome. I deserve this. Like... Yeah, some things happen outside of my control, but it is what it is. And, you know, I'm going to move forward and I'm going to attract the things that I want. So I hope you found it helpful. Love and light. And mwah, see you next time. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat. Like on Facebook.